Hey there Cryptonauts, let's have a real talk about the current state of the market. It seems like the first part of this year, despite having an overall bullish outlook, might be a bit lean in terms of returns. Bitcoin recently took a dip, sliding under the $39,000 mark as the highly anticipated ETF debut turned out to be a classic sell the news event. Yeah, you heard it right. BTC was down almost 5% in the last 24 hours, hitting its lowest level in two months. Last year's predictions were spot on, but now we're rocking a more cautious vibe. It's interesting, isn't it? Traditional markets like the Nasdaq and S&P are hitting all-time highs, and yet there's this growing unease with the Fed, concerns about jobs, and a shaky manufacturing PMI. While we're still optimistic for the entire year, the first half is throwing us a bit of a curveball. Fed governors are chatting about the uncertainty of rate cuts, and we just got a not-so-great Empire Survey reading, hinting at a regional PMI that's making people jittery about a soft or hard landing. Now those answers, my friends, won't be revealed for the next six months. So what does this mean for you as a crypto holder? Let's dive into a chart of the average Bitcoin ETF focusing specifically on Binance's Bitcoin fund. Now let's talk inflation. It's a bit of a paradox. Yes, the rate of increasing inflation is slowing down and inflation has cooled off a bit. However, there are still some sticky variables in play. The broad trend is showing a downward trajectory, but it's crucial to note that inflation itself isn't going away. It's just the speed of the increase that's taking a breather. Now, speaking of employment, we're seeing a bit of a mixed bag. While more companies are reporting layoffs, like Riot Games announcing an 11% staff cut affecting about 530 jobs, we're also witnessing some industries experiencing a surge in unemployment. As folks return from the new year, big layoffs are making headlines across various sectors. It's a bit of a heavy day in the financial world as Citibank just dropped the bombshell of announcing 20,000 layoffs. That's not just a number, it's a huge chunk of lives being affected, and it hits close to home for many. Let's unpack what all of this means in the grand scheme of things. The layoff news is signaling that despite expectations of the money supply expanding as inflation contracts, demand hasn't quite reset properly. This brings us to a critical point that Freeberg has been stressing. Consumer spending has been wild, with people living on credit, and now it seems like the final piece of the puzzle that needs sorting out. In the absence of robust demand, companies tend to resort to what feels like a default move, cutting expenses to maintain profitability. After all, they're not too keen on slashing prices unless they want their products to come off as subpar. It's a tricky dance, and understanding these macroeconomic moves is crucial in navigating the financial landscape. By the way, if you're finding value in today's insights, don't forget to hit that like button. It's like our little virtual high five. Now, let's shift gears and talk about SBF sending shockwaves through the crypto world by crashing Bitcoin once again. FTX, through their bankruptcy, is actively selling and it's been confirmed that they sold a whopping 22 million shares valued at $900 million of Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF or GBTC. FTX had 22.3 million GBTC, and they basically offloaded almost all of it, valued at around $600 million by the end of last year. It's a roller coaster, but for FTX creditors, it's a win. However, for short term BTC price and GBTC, not so great. But you know how it goes in the crypto realm it's often five steps forward, two steps back. Let's also touch on BlackRock's head of product shedding some light on the success of the iShares Bitcoin Trust or iBit. Since its launch just over a week ago, iBit has traded over $3.5 billion, bringing in more than $1.6 billion in flows. They've become the top issuer in terms of both volume and flows. Now, this success story emphasizes what many of us in the crypto community have known for a while. The younger generation is putting their capital into the sector. Despite recent market pullbacks, Bitcoin is still up around 75%, showcasing the sector's outperformance. The takeaway is, investors who want to ride the wave of outperformance might need to allocate to the crypto sector or risk getting left behind. Now let's have a heart-to-heart -heart talk about Bitcoin in the wild world of crypto. It's a topic that has everyone talking and, honestly, we're still in the early stages of understanding its true potential. Some folks, like the Morgan Stanley chairman, have their doubts and questions about Bitcoin's role as a form of stored value. 
And you know what? That's fair, it's not a simple topic and opinions vary. In the real world, we have to acknowledge that Bitcoin isn't going anywhere. It's not a fleeting trend or a fad. It's become a cornerstone in the financial landscape. However, not everyone sees it as a core investment. Some view it as a speculative asset, and in the vast ocean of investment choices, Bitcoin is just one of many. Now, here's the exciting part. The innovation happening in the crypto space is nothing short of revolutionary. It's like being on the edge of something groundbreaking, and we are witnessing a new wave of creativity and entrepreneurship. Now let's talk about Tether, the stablecoin of the future. It's fascinating to see how Tether has become the 16th largest holder of US treasuries. The perspectives on Tether and its regulated counterpart USDC are intriguing. While USDC is gaining traction domestically, internationally people seem to prefer Tether, perhaps because it operates with less oversight. Tether has even become an essential player in the American financial economy. Now, that is something to ponder. And what about Circle? As it gears up for an IPO, opinions may vary. Some see it as an amazing business, especially in a high interest rate environment. As an American looking at these things, the perspective might differ from someone viewing it internationally. But hey, let's not ignore the fact that being the 16th largest buyer of US treasuries is no small feat. Breaking news alert though, Immutable X, a major gaming coin ecosystem on layer 2, just dropped a branding bomb by adding their logo to the crypto hashtag. It's a smart move in the world of branding and marketing, and we'll keep you updated on how this plays out. So, my friends, there you have it. A glimpse into the complex world of crypto, innovation, uncertainty, and exciting ventures. If you found value in this, give that like button a little tap. And remember, we'll be here tomorrow with more updates. Until then, stay curious and keep riding the crypto waves. Have a nice day.